Mandy Teefee is sounding off on some of her daughter Selena Gomez's decisions. In a surprising move, she spoke to Gossip Cop on Sunday to clear up some recent rumors and stories that have been circulating about the mother and daughter um, duo. And she responded, Couple things. The first thing that we're going to talk about is her response to Selena Gomez dating Justin Bieber. She said this, Selena can live her life however she wants as long as she is happy, safe, and healthy. She also said that she hasn't really had any communication with Justin Bieber for years. She added, she is 25 years old and knows what is at stake with her health. I do not control her the way that it has been portrayed. Uh, reps for Selena Gomez have not been reached for comment, but who knows by the time this video goes comes up whether or not they will speak out because she also commented on social media about Selena Gomez working with director Woody Allen amid the allegations of sexual assault. Uh, a user said, uh, could you please make Selena write an apology for Woody Allen film or ask her, I don't know. We're tired of trying to defend her. Her team never does anything to help clean her image. I'm so sorry for this, Mandy, but we love her so much and can't do it anymore. Mandy responded, this is again, very surprising. She says, sorry, no one can make Selena do anything she doesn't want. To. I had a long talk with her about not working with him and it didn't click. Her team are amazing people. There is no fall person here. No one controls her. She makes all her own decisions. No matter how hard you try to advise, it falls on deaf ears. So there, there's a, a, a lot going on. This is a little bit unprecedented uh, in the sense that Mandy was Selena Gomez's manager in like 2014 and then she stopped in 2014 or she was her manager yeah. for a while. She stopped being her manager in 2014. And as far as we've known, they've had like a pretty decent relationship. They produced 13 Reasons Why together. Um, but recently reports have said that there is a strain between the mother and the daughter and that's newsworthy. But now it's extra newsworthy because we're seeing Mandy speak out on what is going on and clarifying some of the stories, which you can't necessarily fault her for. But it definitely is something that you don't normally see from the very like tight lipped yeah. uh, Selena Gomez team. Yeah. So here's the thing. Kids and their parents that they they get their relationship strains at some point in like their lives. The thing that I'm a little bit annoyed about is like she's saying no one can control Selena. She makes all her choices on her own. But like while doing that, she's saying things in a way to kind of control her by speaking to the media. You think so? Yeah, 100%. Like what? She thinks she's going to go talk to media and not think that's going to influence her or at least like that's not her plan. I think like when at that level of celebrity, like if your mom is going and talking to celebrity gossip rags and stuff like that, it's it's going to have an effect on them. Mm -hmm. So you think that this is sort of an instigation on her part that she's like, all right, I'm going to go talk to Gossip Cop. I'm yeah, especially reply on social media because this isn't she, the the reply that's really it was on like the, the Twitter news page this morning I saw um, wasn't her responding to a social media or to a gossip rag website or blog or whatever. It was her responding to an earnest question mm -hmm. from a fan saying, I get it, but like. Given she's never really done stuff like this before, I mean, there must have been a reason why she didn't talk to press and stuff before. Maybe right? she feels like she is, uh, she's frustrated, and maybe she wants to voice. Then stop her. acting like, oh, like Selena has like completely like, control over everything she's gonna do. I have no influence on her, but here I am trying to influence her. What? Right, but I think that she is a she. What I'd she's be super trying frustrated if I was Selena. I think both. I think that this is. It's sort of ugly for both parties because they're now they're airing their you know dirty laundry. Not really dirty laundry, but they're airing their family problems and disagreements out into the public eye, and now it becomes fodder for discussion. Yeah. And no one and no one wants that. But I understand where Mandy's coming from because she obviously feels adamant about her working with Woody Allen and maybe people that don't know or are none the wiser would think that, oh, Selena Gomez worked with Woody Allen, so then now Mandy Teefy is also affiliated. And yeah. Remember that Mandy's also a producer, so yeah. she probably wants to make it clear where she stands on that mm -hmm. and that she's like, look, you need to separate me from my daughter. We both have our own agency. It's something that, you know, I guess I haven't really spoken about before is that um, I don't think it's good that Selena Gomez worked with Woody Allen. No, Whenever we cover terrible. Woody Allen, yeah. uh, you know, people will say like, "Oh, well, like Grace," but Selena Gomez worked with him. And the deal, the deal with that is, is that um, I was really ignorant to what the allegations against Woody Allen were, and the I think um, we all were, and yeah. we were talking about that before the show. It just goes to show how how powerful his PR team has been. And you can read articles about Woody Allen's publicist. She's like one of the top publicists and just really good at her job. And once you are educated to the facts behind 
these these allegations against Woody Allen. I think you have to make a change, and we're seeing that in like the, a number of actors just today or maybe yesterday have announced that they will be donating their salaries from working with Woody Allen uh, to organizations, and that all is part of the Times Up Me Too conversation and that movement. And Selena Gomez is has been as of this taping silent on this, and I think that her mom. You know, is frustrated and probably uh, is trying to call her out. Is it right to do it on social media when your like daughter is the most followed, you know, one of the most beloved, famous people in the world? I don't know. I, I changed my mind a little bit now. Okay. Be, and only because this is this is what I love about Pop Trigger. We're and evolving only, in and real and time. Only because of the Woody Allen revelation, because that's yeah. that's that's huge. What she said about. Like she has a great team, blah blah blah. But this was her decision and her decision alone, and that 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 does not look good on her. Yeah. I think she's gonna she's gonna have to say something about the Woody Allen situation. I think she's absolutely gonna have to. I don't really care so much about her dating Justin Bieber. I I mean, originally yeah, I before the Woody Allen piece came out, my intent for this conversation with Amir was going to be, you know, what what is a parent's approval in a relationship when you're 25, and we can talk about that. Um, but. Ultimately, I don't really think that you know. As long as Selena's happy and Justin's happy and they're treating each other with love and respect, like who? Yeah. Who cares? I mean, parents aren't going to always approve. I, as a, as the surprise gay person, yeah. sometimes in relationships, I've been on that end of parents just being like, "What about her?" You know. So yeah. I don't think that that's necessarily important. But an important conversation will be how Selena Gomez responds yeah. to people calling her out, rightfully so, for working with Woody and Allen. Look, and like you, have, you have people like Ellen Page and other actors coming out and, and finally apologizing for working with him. Mm -hmm. Maybe she will too. Well, and also uh, Miley Cyrus is another one who is- With Terry Richards? Um, no, no, Miley Cyrus did a movie with uh, Woody Allen. Woody Allen. So there are, there are a number of people and I, I would, I'm yeah, hoping- Yeah, I guess when you don't like really think about it, you're like, this is an, this is an amazing opportunity. Woody Allen's a legend. For me personally, like I'd love to be part of that. Well, think, but but also think about it. Months months ago, maybe like five or six months ago, I had a totally warped perception of what the allegations against Woody Allen were. Everyone I was does. absolutely and you're ignorant. See it in the comments here too. They're going to be like, these are just allegations. Like nothing bad happened. Well, but yeah, and there's no you, corroboration. If you actually and, like read about the yeah. situation, it's it's really bad. It's a history of just bad. Bad stuff, and then also suppression, and then a huge like PR mechanism behind him that is able to sweep this um, away, and so that we we all yeah. sort of have our, our vision is a little bit clouded as to what the truth is. But it's just important to stay educated. I hope that as a Selena Gomez fan, um, she will do that work um, and come to a decision or at least address it publicly because I, this is so this is so messy, and I, I don't wish this for anybody, and especially for uh, an artist that I. I really like. So we'll yeah. see how this plays out. We want to hear from you guys though in the comments section below. I'm sure you saw that this was maybe trending. What are your thoughts, questions, comments, concerns? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we will see you next time on Pop Trigger.